Yeah, I know, like, I said, like, like, like 20 minutes ago, I said I was, like, gonna stop soon, but... I'll go on for a little bit more. Let's go to Outer Heaven. Alright, now heading to Outer Heaven. They see me rolling. Doo -doo -doo -doo. I want to know how you would actually pilot that thing. Like, I'm guessing you just enter the coordinates or something like that, and it's automatic. But it's got like joysticks. It looks like you never know. Oh boy, this is outer heaven. Welcome to outer heaven. <laughs> Table for one. Let's uh, use our mask. That looks great on you. Ask this guy if he knows anything. Our buffaloes are the best in the world. It's the probably the only in the world as well. It's the genuine wild thing. No genetic manipulation. Who are you talking about? By the place. Alrighty, then let's show them uh, the picture of Gibson. <laughs> okay then. He's wearing a Wolfman mask. Wolfman mask. Looks like a movie set or something. Isabella. Isabella Velvet Dance Show. Look, it's that famous actress, Isabella Velvet. Isabella Velvet, otherwise known as the Marilyn Monroe of the 21st century, she's here? Wow. I can't believe we, we can meet her. She's almost never been seen in public. Very lively night life district. The very lively nightlife district. The doormen are all working hard to get customers into their clubs. Hey! What do you think you're doing? This is an elaborate makeup job. With numerous gimmicks and special parts added on. Not in the same league as my mask, eh? This is a professional job. It's a 200 degree holographic poster of Isabella Velvet. I would really like to have one. It says, During masquerade hour, our patrons are requested to conceal themselves in the masks or makeup. Your cooperation is appreciated. Please consult our staff for any questions you may have. So many places are so tightly packed in, it's almost difficult to tell the different ones apart. You don't want to bother with those other places. They're sheer boredom compared to outer heaven. After all, we can offer things that those other places can't. You mean illegal activities? Well, some people may use that terminology, but... Oh dear. Was that needed? Let's show him... Sunscreen. I don't know. Alright then. Table for one, please. Just leave out Metal Gear. Hello, lady. We're inside Outer Heaven. Jesus Christ. This is that type of club. Who's the guy over behind the counter? He appears to be the, m the manager of the place. Everyone's dressed as a character from the classic late 20th century video game. From a classic late 20th century video game. The people who run this place must really be into old-time old nostalgia. The funny thing is, like, 
at this time, all these games were like modern or whatever. So like looking back on it, they actually are nostalgic retro games or whatever. So it makes you think like 20 years from now or so, people are gonna look at like Call of Duty and uh, like Uncharted, Half Life, and th they're gonna be like retro games. Pretty crazy. The only person I can say I completely recognize, I want to say, or maybe two people actually, uh, one of them is Snake, um, the dude that's like, in the middle-ish, or either the dude that's in the middle or, or the one to the right of him are Snake, and I believe the, the dude to the right of the little rabbit guy is, um, what is it? Um, cannot think of it. Rocket Knight, I believe. Sparkster, Goemon. All right, so we actually get a little uh. Isn't that the guy who fought against the evil pigs of the? Defotindo's Empire? Oh yeah, the rocket guy. What's his name? Spinster? Spunster? Parkster? Yeah, that, yeah so that's Rocket Knight, alright. Yeah, so that, so the dude in the middle is um, the Contra dude, I believe. Or maybe they're both Contra dudes, who knows. Going on. The customer with the spiky ha hair out is dressed up as Goemon, the mystical ninja. You're right, boy that was a really great game. Those designers are really brilliant. The Goemon haircut became a real cultural icon. Japanese motorcycle gangs started to all wear the hair like that. Huh. Mr. Ueda. That fellow was dressed as a character from the controversial video game Lethal Enforcers. Caused quite the stir in the 1990s when two senators from the United States started a two-man crusade against video game violence. Those same two senators were later voted out of office with a humiliating landslide when their cons constituents decided that they wanted representatives who would who would do something about real violence on the streets. Oh yeah, I believe that game also spawned a whole generation of imitations, didn't it? Yep, that's true. A lot of companies produced inferior copies, but none matched the success of the original. As a matter of fact, that game was used in the in the academy for training purposes. It's amazing how people can use a simple video game as an excuse for all society's problems. It always e it's always easy to point the fi point the figure at the I believe it's a typo. It's point the finger at the other guy than it is to point it at yourself. Human nature hasn't changed at all since then, huh? Shame. The customer is dressed as the as the Contra character. I'm starting to sense a little theme here. How about you, Gillian? Yeah, me too. I guess. <laughs> I guess you and I are pretty out of the out of place among all these Konami characters, huh, Metal Gear? <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't say that. As a matter of fact, I suspect that we fit in much better than you realize. What the hell are you talking about, Metal? These are all fictional video game characters. We're the only real ones in here. Makes you think. I wonder. In this world or whatever, does a uh, did the Metal Gear series just like just not come out <laughs> or something? Like all these Konami games are like are existing, very successful, but did Metal Gear just never get created? Those two were pretty suspicious looking. They appear to be dressed as the characters from the famous Castlevania series of video games from the late 20th century. Yeah. Wow. That really takes me back. I remember spending hours playing it. I didn't even take time to take out the time off to sleep. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? I wasn't even born then. I must be thinking about something else. But I'm sure I'll, I remember playing it. I remember I was so pissed because I couldn't jump off the stairs. Everyone felt that way, Gillian. 
it was very frustrating. According to statistical records, the teenage suicide rate increased dramatically in that year. Oh man, this is actually pretty nice. Other than us, the clientele here look a little rough. Looks a little rough, it said. Savor the moment, Gillian. Her dancing is really something special. I see. You weren't kidding, were you? Oh, I can investigate every single one of them. Hey, what are you doing? Unfortunately, we couldn't learn anything. Alright. I doubt you're going to learn any anything here. So, so, uh... Okay, if this next one doesn't do anything... Yeah. For, for safety measure. Yeah. Call. Manager. Oh god. Hello. Hello, can I help you with something? It's one of the characters from the Cosmic Debris. You really know your stuff, don't you? Do you mind if I check this out? What? Are you one of those types? Seems to be built quite well. You have a photograph? Oh, yep, I do. Who's this? I'm afraid I don't know him. See, nearly half of our operating hours is, is masquerade hour, so I wouldn't know if he was here or not. Oh, shame. She'll be dancing here through the end of the month. Look, she's she's at it right now. She's between pictures at the moment, so we had her come dance for us. She's one of the, one of the top in the business right now. We're the only club that she'll dance at, you know. Would you care to try some? It's really a really unique unique flavor. Forget about the check. Just get out of my place now. Sorry. We have to maintain an atmosphere in which customers can relax. You know. I'll apologize. I. Oh. Uh, we need to wait for things to settle down. How long that'll be? I feel bad. Oops. Well, hopefully things will cool down soon. Let's go to, uh... Junker HQ for a second, I guess. Oh. I don't imagine it would take too long for things to cool down, hopefully. In theory, I could probably just go right back now and... ...see how things are doing. Oh, I mean, I, I really piss people off. Cause I was, I was thinking, you know, maybe if I just kind of confidentially were just like, you know, hey, 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 sir, I'm a junker, and be like, oh, oh, all right, I'll, and then I'll, pr I'll we would probably kind of show each other information or whatever, but no. You again? I'm very sorry, but the manager has told me not to let you into the club. Some other time, fuck you know. Let's go to Plato's Cavern. My initial thought 
just to see if we can like, get the, that other mask. Because uh, that would help a lot, most likely. The worst comes worse, I'm gonna have to like save the game. Or load the game. But I'm, I'm sure that we can eventually get back in there. That's what the game they, they, that's what the, the that's what the game's like making it out to be. Oh man, I just have a conversation with him for now. Maybe they're starting their own business. <laughs> Move. Right now, if. I'm still like banned or whatever. I think I'm just gonna like, maybe save it and come back and come back another time and we'll further our adventures in the outer heaven. I felt really bad for doing that. I probably freaking Oh man. It can't take that long. You again. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, guys. I read that magazine City Life Today every month, but I've never seen anything about it. Hmm. Let's continue for now, right? I just want to see, like, if I just say a bunch of stuff. To, uh, to various people and walk around a lot. Maybe that'll make, let time go by or some of that. To ask you about. You have to figure there are other stores like that in the city. About this outer heaven, you should be able to learn something about the guy that Gibson was trying to track down. Oh, all right. I'm, I'm assuming that might be that random Hamid or whatever his name was. So we talked to him a bit. Let's go to uh, engineering room. Let's ask him about outer heaven. What are you saying, boy? I'm not. Head to heaven anytime soon. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Be seeing you, Mika. Mika. Woman. No, this time if you still look angry at me, I'm just gonna call it there. Fingers crossed. Oh, the investigator from the other day is back. 
We hope we can avoid the unpleasantness of the other day. Nice. Okay, then looks like I'll, I'll keep recording for a little bit. All right. Possessions. Use mask. Well, now everyone knows me like as investigator. That sucks. Or I guess like most people won't know me. I guess because in theory. Since I'm in a mask and all, they won't recognize me or something. I don't know. But they saw me in a mask, but let's just not worry about it and be cool. So we have asked about all that possessions. Show him chess piece. Okay, then let's just finish questioning. It helped a bit. Enjoy yourself. Let us call the dancer. I'll call Isabella. Hey, Isabella, over here. Uh oh! Everyone like looked at me for a second. I got fully scared. <laughs> Hi there, boys. I'm Isabella Velvet. Hello, Isabella. Is there something I can do for you? An Easter Island statue and a robot? You look quite nice. Oh my god, what a knockout. And that leather outfit? What's wrong? Do you, do you find me attractive? Now, now. Don't you let those eyes wander with someone as gorgeous as me standing right in front of you. <laughs> so she gets mad at me for like, staring at, at her, but... Alrighty then. Makes sense. I'll investigate her. I think it's best if I handle it. I can manage by myself. What's wrong? Aren't you going to investigate me? No, that's alright. Her hair is pretty damn still. I would love hair like hers. <laughs> would you mind giving me your phone number? <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay then. About Gibson. Don't know who you're talking about. Do you have a picture or something? I might have met him somewhere. No, I can't remember. She seems like she might be able to remember. That's right, you know, I have a new holographic movie that starts shooting next month. And I have to start studying my lines, so... Hmm. What kind of men do you like? Let's see. Somebody really masculine. Who you can depend on, you know? The kind of guy who grabs you and says, Come on, baby, follow me. All right, Gillian, work your magic. Ask about Gibson now. Take a careful look, okay? Oh, that's right. This is the guy who got sick after eating buffalo. I remember him. Mmm. Well, it was just the other day. It wasn't masquerade hour, so I remember his face pretty clearly. He seemed to be waiting around for one of our regular customers. A regular? He was going out of his way to eat buffalo, but then he spat out blood. I was nearly grossed out. You say he was waiting for someone? Well, I suppose it was more like he was following him. He left it as soon as the other guy did. Hmm. Would you mind telling me a little about him? 
I don't know his name, but he was in here all the time, especially when we weren't running Masquerade Hour. Outside of Masquerade Hour, so that means you've seen his face then. Do you remember it? I think so. Alright then, Metal. Let's have her come down to headquarters with us. We need to use Jordan and put together a montage. We can't take her to headquarters. Why not? Looks like the manager said. She's a star actress. If the media were to ever find out about this, we'd never get away from cooper get any cooperation ever again. What are you mumbling about? This is really a delicate issue. Although inconvenient, we should take her description and then go back to headquarters to build a montage on our own. Could you try to remember his distinguishing characteristics? Gillian, keep the description in mind. Afterwards, we can use it to put together a montage. Oh god. Oh, Jesus. Do I have a pen or a pencil anywhere? Uh. Okay, here's the... Alrighty then. Okay then. Now let's use this. It's, um... It's my, uh, receipt of, um... It's my Amazon receipt when I got L.A. Noir and Brotherhood. So, uh, this, this will do just fine. I'm never gonna use this again. Um, facial shape. What was the overall shape of his face? He had a kind of bony look. Okay. Bony look. Type of eyes. Really piercing gaze. A rather threatening look. Piercing gaze. Threatening. What kind of nose did he have? Pointy, like mine. Pointy nose. Thin lips. Lucky it's her being interviewed, like, and not someone like me, because I, I never would be able to remember something like this at all. Especially like, from a couple of days. Sort of naturally flowing toward the back of his head. Naturally flowing. Back of head. I gotta write. I gotta make sure I know. It. Had a big widow's peak. Gotta, gotta like make sure I get every single detail I can. 30s. Alrighty then. Don't worry, baby, you'll be dancing soon enough. It's asking about his activities. All different times, so he probably doesn't have a job or work regular hours. Can I have your autograph? Autograph? Well, let's see. I don't have anything to write with. Oh, how about this? Smooch? Oh! I'm telling Jamie. Uh, I do want to get back with my wife, but... Oh, that's just... I'm... Uh... Okay, I'm a good man. Non-permiscuity. You're very attractive, miss, but I'm gonna have to, ha I'm gonna have to say no. I'm just gonna have to say no.
<laughs> Let's finish questioning. But a tremendous help. Thank you very much. Glad I could be. Now if you'll excuse me. Get back to dancing, girl. Been running through Jordan to see if there are any month matches. You mean like building a composite photograph? It would be nice if Isabella would come back to the headquarters with us. Well, I guess we'll just have to take a look at it later. So this is gonna be so if we can like show everyone everything or whatever, like each individual customer. It's gonna have to suck. Oh, a movie actor? Huh? Okay, Sparkster didn't know him. I doubt anyone's really gonna, no gonna notice, really. Will they? I no one understand what you talk about. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Ah. Um I'm wondering if there's anything else though we can talk about that man. This gentleman, let's see, yes. He's been coming regularly for about three months now. Alrighty then. That's it. That's all I'm gonna ask you, buddy. Hey, going on. <laughs> 